Hello, my people, my people. Welcome back to another Hello, amazing my people, my show. People. This is the Welcome Transform You Live show. Another amazing show. With your host. This is the Transform You Marcus Live Hart. show. Tonight, with your host. Which is daytime. Marcus Hart. <laughs> over in India. <laughs> Tonight. Uh, this. Which uh, is have, daytime. We have. Uh, over in uh, India. <laughs> and he's going to tell uh, us. This, uh, we have about. We have his business. Uh, Verdur. Uh, Social Novia. Social Novia. And he's going to tell us. <laughs> so, about so Verdur. Tell us all about what you got going up. Uh, social Novia. Perfect. Yes. So social first of all, thank you so much for having me here. It's, it's really an honor so, to so be the audience so profound you have. So, Tell us uh, all about what you got going on. Social Nova that we have, uh, it's, it's an affordable social media management agency. So what we do is uh, generally small businesses and startups have this pain point that they want to market on social media but cannot afford to a full-time person or a professional agency which sorry, okay, which may charge them a lot of money. So we have created an outsourced solution uh, which is affordable in price. Essentially what businesses and startups do is that they outsource their social media management to where one of our trained managers will handle the social media for them straight from creating the accounts to handling the content to handling the engagement, the advertising and everything that, that is required on social media. Created a solution where uh, we can take social media on hand businesses and give them the freedom of focusing on their business. We manage social media independently. Uh, we have been doing this for a long time now, 5.5 years, and handle more than a thousand clients from all parts of the globe, except Antarctica, obviously. And uh, and we, we really love this. Uh, we have a team of 18 people passionate about social media, passionate about customer service. And we, we always try to give the best and always try to keep up with the trends. And uh, this, this interview is also one of ways to educate people about how they can uh, grow on social media, even or without our help. So, so thanks once again for having me here. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. You know, I'm, I'm so happy to have you. And it's really a blessing. And as I was thinking to myself, you know, uh, one of the things that popped out to me is that 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 there are many platforms out there to get your get your brand get your word out about your brand and and then there there's so much confusion you know on how to utilize these these platforms and you started at a young age on discovering a way to uh make proper use of these platforms so, so what inspired you? Uh, I'll say uh, from a young age, uh, I definitely always was. Uh, I was, I was not a not an employee type. So I always wanted to help people. I always wanted to create a solution which can make the lives of our customers better. So when I started at the age of nineteen in in two thousand, so I was looking for something that will that will fit into my skills. That will be uh, will be something that I can learn. That that's something that I can be passionate about. So I looked over, I, I got inspired by the internet, I got inspired by the rise of Facebook and all the social media networks, uh, which, which, which were popular at the time, which are still now. So I, I discovered that the basis of my life should be to help people. And at that time, uh, social media seemed to be the tool which I can use to influence lives of people worldwide. Because as you see, we are in India. so. If I, if I decided to do a business locally, then I can help only so much people. But uh, when, when we decide to do business international internet, helping businesses worldwide, then I think that idea really, really inspired me and uh, drove me into doing this business. And I think it still drives me today and all our team. It's into our mission that we want to see the lives of people. And we are true to this today and we will be true to it later. Wow, that's truly amazing. Do you think that's one of the key opponents for being successful with marketing? Helping people? Uh, yes, I think because today's market scenario is like no one likes to be sold anything. Everyone, uh, today, today we live in an experience economy where people don't just look for products, they look for solutions. So whenever we are trying to market something, uh, we need to be compassionate. Uh, we need to be uh, able to help people. We need to tell them that we are just not trying to sell you something, but we are trying to give you a solution that will actually help you grow in your life, grow in your business. So helping people definitely, I think, should be the core of every marketing activity. That is. 
and i think i think the examples are pretty obvious look around you look at tv commercials you look at the billboards you look at the internet advertisements and almost all of them are geared towards telling you uh, how they can help you with your business it's not it's not purely about selling on a price or selling on a particular element that is not available in the competitors it's more about growing your business look at uh, or helping people look at airbnb uh, look at fiverr look at facebook look at coca cola along with the product they are they are giving us a, a solution or something that is helping us make our lives better and i think uh, whenever we are trying to market our business we should we should do the same yeah yeah i definitely agree with you um that's definitely been you know a uh, truly transformational for for a lot of these huge corporations uh it, it replaces the old model uh, it's so so what are what are some of the the new things that are coming coming out in the 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 coming turn of the year or what do you expect okay uh, actually that's that's really a great one because 2020 is definitely going to be an exciting year uh, for not just digital marketing or social marketing but for the entire marketing industry itself uh as as we are into the internet age now uh, all the digital platforms the world has world has gone digital first so i'll i'll say that the most uh, important marketing trend going to be in 2020 is going to be searched uh, sorry google search combined with social media so uh, you get people to know about your business through search and you engage them with social media so social media is going to be the primary place where your customers engage with each other where your customers engage with your business so if you're not on social media if you're not on google then i can confidently say that you are losing a lot of business because uh, digitally being digitally uh, important to customers is is to today's customer experience so the big social networks which are facebook uh, instagram twitter Uh, even whatsapp is a social network i'll say so those are going to keep growing and lots of new features will be coming up i'll say facebook facebook is becoming a place where uh, you are going to find everything so facebook and google are something which you have to be on and as the consumer tastes are going towards experience so they like to see businesses on social media they like to see that they are they like to see that their customer representatives are human and not a bot they like to see that they are they can share the content or share the experience with others through social media through so i'll say online reputation is going to be as important as your offline reputation and social media and google are are going to be a key aspect in building that and in 2020 I'll, i expect more saturation uh, into the social media users uh, uh, previously i'll i'll say we were visiting like seven or eight networks it was a trend in 2014 and 15 that it was it was cool to be on multiple social networks having multiple social media accounts but uh, the the industry is going towards saturation so more and more businesses and people are only going to use one or two social networks and i expect them to be facebook and instagram so even if any business focuses on these two social networks then i think that's enough to cover about 75% of their potential audience and obviously there are other networks which are also emerging pinterest the good one uh twitter is going to be significant definitely if not off so these these networks are also going to be significant uh b2b is also growing as linkedin was taken over by microsoft we can expect to see uh, more microsoft products uh, being integrated with linkedin which can provide better value for businesses who are targeting b2b consumers so and there's a lot hap- lots happening actually normal everyday citizen does not uh, experience all these changes but if you are pro then facebook and all these networks are launching features every week and the trends which are going uh, going on and what we like are, are 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 going to be a lot significant and uh, going to change our lives and any business who is using social media and search is is definitely going to lose customers you know that's that's vital information there and you, and you just gave us a wealth of insight into the future you know the near future you know it's right around the corner <laughs> is knocking at it so we should be planning right now um now a lot of us has been confused on whether or not if we should hire someone full time or you know part time or just 
or just once in a while, or if we should um, download an app to manage our our marketing, or you know how or how or how should we do it? You know what what is your expert insight on that? Ah, uh, okay. I'll say uh, like everything in life, uh, every every all has its pros and cons. So if someone is a is a startup, really a one person company, then definitely it makes sense to do your work. So doing it yourself can be a good option for someone who is just starting, who is in the first step of the business. If the business starts growing, and if once they once the founder uh, starts having multiple responsibilities, it definitely makes sense uh, to outsource social media. Now, in that uh, in that position, is an option having someone full time. But uh, but uh, efficiency in the U.S. Even if you want to hire someone full time about social media, you have to have a budget of multiple thousands of dollars uh, just to have person for you. And maybe the outcome that you get from social media immediately will be worth for a small business. So definitely, it's it's legend to to outsource social media as it's not going to be a core activity. It's a marketing professionals know it better. So uh, I'll say once your business has started and once you have your first employee, it's best to outsource social media and perhaps I'll say any marketing activity because this stage is very uh, important for any business to grow the base customers. So having a full-time person is going to put a big dent in your pocket. But just it itself, uh, once your business starts to grow, may not be enough, as one person cannot be expert in everything. So I think the viable option for any business uh, uh, after one one uh, year or six months of starting is to outsource to someone. Now in that also we have lots of options. So you can just hire a freelancer. You can hire an agency. You can hire someone. Uh, from a from a big agency to work for you. Now all these options uh, come with multiple benefits, and multiple drawbacks. So everyone has to finally judge for themselves that what is the good option available to them in their locality, uh, in their in their situation. But generally, what I've experienced over the years is that having uh, having an affordable agency like ours, uh, which can be your trusted part of your marketing, and which can grow with you over the years. And which will not uh, put a big dent in your uh, business, in the, in your business's finances. And I think that's that's a viable solution. And obviously, more than a thousand clients that work with us uh, will stay the same, and we are we are happy to continue with them. So it's a proven and tested method. And uh, if you see around, uh, almost every non-core business function is being outsourced. Even the big boys are outsourcing, which is not their core activity. So if you if you see I, if you see IBM if you see any other big agency they are outsourcing what is not core to them and that's how they're maximizing their revenues maximizing their productivity on what they do best. So I'll say even if Mondo doesn't want to listen to me then still they can verify uh, around them uh, that outsourcing the non-core function is is really an intelligent move and I think that's what uh, that's what any entrepreneur should do with their social media market. Yeah, I, I can definitely you know attest to that because like, you know, if you got more more time to to focus on what you're good at, and you know, and and and, and that's to make your customer serve uh, happy, <laughs> you know, and you know versus you know trying to figure out how uh, marketing works. You know, uh, why not? You know, bring in a specialist like Pradoff to 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 take it over for you. You know, you know. Then I guess the question is, who handles you guys' marketing? <laughs> you know. Well, no, it was more of a joke than a question. Oh, you know, so, I'm so yeah, sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, agencies question. Right, right. I'm so serious I mean, about giving information. Agencies uh, marketing. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I guess, I guess the uh, the the next 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 point I would uh, have for you is. Uh, what 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 are some 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 um uh, some some other uh, additional uh approaches that uh, startups 
can can take you know uh for social media you know you know you, I, I know you mentioned uh sticking with one platform you know uh what 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 would be the 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 quick go to you know is is there is there a quick fix and and, <laughs> and if so you know how how does a company determine which platform to use for for their particular brand? Okay, I think I think that's a question almost every new entrepreneur uh, has in their mind. So it works out like this: uh, whenever you try a new business, definitely you first need to define who is your target audience. Uh, if you are a cosmetic brand uh, targeting to, win, then obviously you should go with Pinterest because Pinterest is a network which has more than eight percent of its users as women. So it's clear that if you are if you are targeting to women, if you are targeting uh, consumer services or goods, then that Pinterest is something you need to be on, obviously, along with Facebook. Facebook is something I'll say it's compulsory for everyone, literally. Like there are two billion users on Facebook. You simply cannot have a business uh, whose consumer is not on Facebook. So Facebook is mandatory for all businesses, and along with Facebook, uh, we can uh, we can look at our target audience, decide which network we should be on. So Pinterest is really good for businesses who are targeting to women. If you are businesses into B two B, that is, if you are targeting companies instead of consumers and selling something which is useful for businesses, then LinkedIn is definitely, I'll say, uh, is an essential for marketing. LinkedIn consists of all the decision makers from companies. You can target uh, companies there uh, depending on their number of employees, location, industry, and everything. So LinkedIn is pretty good if if a business is into B two B, then Instagram and Twitter I'll say are very popular with millennials. So if you are targeting the younger generation, if you are targeting people who are uh, emotional buyers I'll say. So and if your business has a lot of visual element in it, like maybe photographers or or soft drinks or restaurants, then uh, then Instagram and Twitter are definitely going to be useful. And plus, then there are other social networks which are not so well known, but are really popular with certain communities. So Snapchat is one, Reddit is one, and there are uh, other networks uh, which one can use depending on the target audience. So the primary question I will say that uh, that is uh, important to decide which network you should be on is this: that who is your target audience? Where are they located? Which network do they use the most? So it's more about how consu- which which network the consumers are lo- using than which network you want to market to so depending on the customer you should be using the social networks and as i said it's not really necessary to be on all the social networks because one cannot manage uh, that many networks and the incremental benefit you get from being on multiple social networks is not that great so just i i'll say that one business just has to select two or three social networks on which most of their audience is located just focus on those three networks uh, focus all the marketing efforts there and today social media is pay to play so even if you have exceptional content and even if you are an influencer you still have to go with advertising so facebook and google particularly are very good with the uh, advertising and there are uh, other networks which have also come up with their advertising plans like instagram pinterest twitter so if a business has a combination of a limited number of social media networks and certain advertising budget to put up then i think that's a great entry level social media strategy for any business to follow so when when you outsource your your social media marketing and you figure out what platform you want to go with what type of things or characteristics you should look for in your uh in the person or agency that you're outsourcing to okay that's that's also again i think uh, very important uh, uh, very important of a question every every entrepreneur should uh, answer so whenever you are uh, talking to agencies uh, when outsourcing your social media management then definitely there are a set of questions uh, which you can ask uh, we particularly say five of them first is you should look for an agency that fits your budget obviously i say that's the starting point because uh, without your budget uh, you cannot uh, 
laser target the agencies that you want second is you should target agencies who are familiar with your familiar with your industry because many agencies specialize only in certain industries or only with certain set of customers so if you are going uh, to if your business is, is from a particular industry then you should target agencies with working with that industry you should also have experience and the passion of the agency about the particular product that you are purchasing and in this case it's social media market so like if you look at me if you look at my social media accounts you will see that i am personally very passionate about social media i post a lot i follow the trends i i work with other businesses to grow their social media so you can see in us uh, we have the capability and the characteristic of being passionate about it so if you if you are looking for an agency for social media marketing you should take a look at how they manage their own accounts how the people are managing their own accounts uh, if they're passionate about it so that's the third thing the fourth thing i say is the experience uh, and the results that uh, that particular agency has generated in the past. so uh, everything should not be vanity there should be sanity also so if you are if you are a part, if you are a particular agency you should definitely ask for the past results uh, the the agency has generated for the clients and from that data you can get the idea of the capability of that particular agency and can decide if they are able to give you the results that you are looking for and the final thing i say is the uh, is the character itself because uh, i've seen cs uh, who are not honest who charge a lot uh, who don't do the work that they are decided to do and they they, they claim it, but at the end of the day the results and what they are doing is not according to what they are saying so i'll say personal character also matters a lot so when you talk to agencies you should go visit their office you should talk to the key person you should see how they are behaving how they how they are in their own life because marketing is a long term journey you can't just go on switching agencies every 3 months about social media it's it's a long term job so if you are not comfortable with working with if your core values do not match their core values then i'll say there is no point in with them because sooner or later you will you mess the relationship and then you will have to start again on your social media so character about the character or core values of the agency is again something i'll say one should consider so to summarize i'll say the first is budget that you should work. second is the type of industry the agency is comfortable to work with third i'll say is the experience of that particular agency into the industry that you are working in fourth is i'll say the uh, history of the results that uh, that particular agency has generated five the character and core values of the agency to see if uh, they match with you so if you look for these five uh, these five key things definitely you can narrow down your search to two or three agencies which are really good and you can make the final decision and it and it should prove to be right over a period of time that's great you know that that's that's really f- uh, phenomenal information and uh, i really feel like you helping a lot of individuals who are listen who's going to listen to this uh podcast and they're going to really make some some more wiser decisions when choosing who they want to work with now there's there's some other things that uh many agencies tend to promise and uh one of those things that um uh many entrepreneurs get caught into is um those promises of like uh I can get you this a many amount of followers or or subscribers to your YouTube channel or your Twitter or you know uh you know uh, is there such a thing that it really is this uh and does it really matter um uh, the amount of followers or subscribers you have on your social media accounts Uh I'll say that nowadays definitely uh, it seems as if uh, you have more followers than someone else and uh, you can think that okay I'm more popular or I'm somehow better than the other person but to be honest I don't think it's really like that personally uh, I have I have looked over 5000 accounts and the number of followers hardly signify the depth of the business or the quality of the service they offer obviously uh, if if a business has 100 followers and if someone else has 100 million and definitely there's going to be the difference in quality but even if you have 9000 followers and if you have 90000 followers hardly affects the revenue or the profit your business is going to make or that hardly affects the and value that is in the minds of people so
So I've seen is who say that we are going to give you 1000 followers a month. We are going to give you these many likes, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, when I check their social account, I see all these automation and bots that they use to create engagement and just to grow the number. So what's the point of having like 10,000 followers if none of them is really interested in your business? So it's like having a friend circle. If, if no one is going to show up at your wedding, then what's the use of having so many friends if, just to just to call friends? So I'll say social media is more about getting quality engagement, uh, really creating a passionate community who is interested in your business and to tell their friends about what you're doing, who is going to follow your updates. So it's not just about, just about creating followers. It's about creating engaged followers who are, who are really going to stay with you for long. So agencies who just promise numbers and have no quality what's about the content or the event is something I'll say you should stay 100 miles away because if you try to do it yourself uh, and post good content about your business, then that's also better than having an agency who is going to give you 100,000 fake false. So numbers, numbers are not everything. They do matter, definitely, but numbers are not everything. So I, I think we should we should chase sanity and not. So, so that's all I take is. So we should look at organic growth. So instead of uh, instead of uh, artificial growth, all these bots and agencies provide. We should look for organic growth where we are giving good content, good value as media. People are liking it. People are inviting their friends to check out our content. There is good ground activity which is going. So if 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 one of our clients has a good ice cream shop. Then we tell them that don't just keep it digital. Tell your people to like us on Facebook. Tell them to share their pictures with the hashtag. So if there is real activity uh, going in your business along with this media content or social media activity, then that's a winning formula. So in this case, even 1,000 followers can do much more business uh, who, are, who are really engaged with you than one, 100,000 followers who are just asking you for the sake of uh, bots or something else. So engage community with organic marketing is the way to success and not uh, not artificial marketing because, because social media nowadays uh, is there are mil- millions of companies trying to do the same thing so if you are if you are creating a new facebook page today then you are one of the 500 million pages which are already there so what are you going to do exactly that that will make people follow you so that's the question we should ask ourselves we should focus on organic marketing we should focus on real people activity than just uh, numbers and showing people see how popular we are when when uh, actually we, we are not that popular so organic marketing is the way to go i think i like that yeah that that is so true and um you, you know you really speak the truth on that and it, uh you really you know uh you put us in a better place and you know and setting us up for for a great mindset to have you know so uh, so with that being said, is there any final words of wisdom you want to to offer us or any anything else you want to um, you want to put out there in terms of uh, marketing and social media marketing or digital marketing that you want to let us know about? Definitely. Uh, I'll say I'll say the final thing that I want to conclude with here. Uh, after after working with more than thousand companies, after looking up five thousand accounts, I've literally come to this conclusion: that if if a new business is going uh, going to market on social media, then he should be patient and mature enough to expect results after giving the value about their business. So if you are creating a page today and you expect that uh, followers and sales will flow in will flow in in three months or two months without doing anything or with, with just doing something like posting a post, then that's not going to work. Like like social media marketing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So we should look at it as a long activity, as a brand activity rather than advertising. So if a business has this attitude of looking at social media as a long-term activity and investing in it with while giving value to the consumer, then that's something I'll say what create winners because I've seen a lot of businesses start off with social media and quit it after a few months just because they say it's not working. How can you expect something to work if you're not giving it enough time and enough effort? So if, if you, if you want to succeed on social media, then you have to give it time. You have to give it enough effort and you have to have professionals to work on this. Obviously, if you want to build your house, won't you want to have a construction company do it or are you going to do it yourself? So if it's that serious, get the professionals, give it time, 
and you should be on your success. I like that. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much, Bordeaux. You know, it, it, this just been a, a truly amazing, remarkable interview, and and you really has helped us a lot, uh, even myself. You know, so so really appreciate it. So so uh, leave us with your contact information and uh, even your social media. <laughs> <laughs> so that we can get in touch with you and maybe uh, like and follow your page. Uh, you can find me, you can find our WhatsApp, you can find my own personal number on our website. And if you wish to connect with me, simply search my uh, art on the internet and you will, you will find uh, my social media accounts, you will find my personal website. And if you email me, I'm available at vedved at deshp.com, D-E-S-H-P-W-E.com. So I'll leave the login, uh, I'll leave the contact information with you to provide in the caption. So uh, I'll be more than happy to talk to uh, your viewers about their social media. And if I'm able to help with my knowledge, it, it will be an honor for me. Awesome. And uh, we, you know, little did you know, we had a lot of technical difficulties uh, <laughs> trying to get this interview together. So <laughs> Yes, that's not a problem. So it, totally it was worth well it. worth it, though. It's it's really so, worth it, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, it's really worth it. Yeah, it's really worth it. So, you know, just a wealth of knowledge here, and you know, uh, started at 19 years old, and look at you now. So, and, uh, and so we, we greatly appreciate you. You know, so whenever you want to visit us again, feel free to visit us again. You know, we would love to have you on again to talk with us again. So we really really appreciate you. Definitely, thank you, thank you so much once again to have me, and I was helping more people and talking to your viewers on social media. And Okay, so do hold the line here. I'm just going to close the line. I'm just going to I'm just going to close the um the show here. Okay, so uh, once again, we just talked with Vidoff, and this is the Transform You live show. Uh, make sure you do check them out, and when you do contact them, let them know that the Transform You live show sent you over. You know, like his page a hundred times if you can. <laughs> <laughs> and tell all your friends and hit his email up until he say, who the heck sent you over? <laughs> Let him know the Transform You Live show. Until next time, many blessings, peace, and lots of love. <laughs>